I've got a package. Oh, I've got a package. Where's my opening stuff? <laughs> hey. Okay, so I just got a package and I got way too excited and opened it off camera. I just received the Elgato green screen. This is hopefully going to enhance the streams a little bit more. Now this video is to help you guys enhance your streams that little bit more if you've just bought yourself a green screen or if you're looking to use this green screen, this is a little how to do exactly that. Hey YouTube, how's it going? My name is James Hodges. Welcome back to the channel. And today, we're gonna learn how to use this. Now, as a point out now, what I'm about to show you will work with any green screen. You don't necessarily need to have the Elgato version like I've got here. You don't even need to be using the same software I'm about to show you. Whereas I'll be using Streamlabs, you could use OBS because all the controls are the exact same. OBS is where the core functions from all of this came from. So with all that being said, let's jump into this. So you've opened up your software, whether that be Streamlabs or OBS, and you'll see a screen like this. I'm going to assume that you've already set up your webcam or your scenes, and I'm just gonna take you through the steps to set up your green screen. Before anything, we need to work on our lighting. We need to remove all the shadows and aim to have an even green color on the green screen as much as possible. But even if it's not perfect, don't worry, nor is mine, but I'm gonna show you that it is still possible to have a good effect even with all these issues I have behind me. You'll most likely see that you have parts of your webcam like these bars here that aren't completely covered up by your green screen. We need to get rid of those. Now that's actually really simple to do. All you need to do is select your webcam source, go to the side and hold Alt and remove the parts you no longer want, just like that. Lovely. You should be left with just you and the green screen. Now the magic part, let's remove the green. You go to your webcam, right click and select filters. Hit the plus for a new effect, search for chroma key. There it is. You can give it a name if you want, I'm just gonna leave it as is. So you can see that Streamlabs have already taken away the green screen for us. However, with all these settings below, we can make it that much better. Starting with key color type. So we have a few options here. We have green, blue, magenta and custom. So you don't actually have to use a green screen. You can use all sorts. However, as I have a green screen, I'm gonna select that. So at the moment, it's looking to remove the color green. However, we can actually ask it to look for similar colors and remove those too. The higher you go, the more colors it will find and remove until you're gone. And then the other way, you can ask it to remove less colors and obviously you won't end up taking away anything. The idea is to find that, that sweet middle ground, which for me tends to be 418. Next up, we have smoothness. So the idea of this is to make the effects smoother. This will try to remove any weird edges you have, any rough edges around yourself to make things look a little bit nicer. I'm going to leave mine at 92. Now we have key color spill. Now you often might see a green edge or a green glow around yourself. The idea of this one is to remove exactly that. But taking it really, really basic, all it really does is play around with the saturation. Go up high, it will take you into black and white, completely desaturate your picture. Again, you want to find that sweet spot where you're not black and white, but you can, you're removing that green glow around you. Now these options below, I'm actually gonna leave because I'm happy with the way this looks. Now all these controls and settings I've played around with are completely dependent on your webcam, your lighting, your setup, the clothes you're wearing, the way your hair is. So many things will affect these settings. So I really, really recommend that you have a little play around and find that sweet spot that works perfectly for your setup. So now that we've got this done, I'm gonna hit done and have a look. Doesn't look bad. Not done too badly, James. I mean, okay, yes, this area here isn't great. I can go back into the settings and adjust that slightly, but it's not not bad. You know, this is a pretty good green screen setup. I did say the background isn't perfect. The lighting could definitely be better. I think that's a thumbs up. Guys, hit that thumbs up. So now we have our green screen effect set up. We can actually use this in some really cool and creative ways to enhance your stream. Now I've set up a few examples and I'm gonna show you those now. Here we have a few of the examples. We have a classic in the bottom of the corner, really minimistic look, but it works really, really well. Got this one here as well. This, this actually is one of my favorites. It kind of plays on the idea of a normal webcam setup. However, because you have the green screen, you can push it that little bit more and go outside the box. Here we have another one, which is really, really cool. It's kind of like Dr. Disrespect inspired. I'm pretty sure he does one of these in his streams. But yeah, another really, really cool layout. And here we have my overlay that I use in every single one of my streams at the moment, which I really, really like. It's nice, minimal, and sleek. So there are just a few examples of things you can do with the overlays. There's so many more things you could do. I really, really encourage you guys to get creative. Sadly, this video wasn't sponsored by Elgato, but to be honest, this thing is great. 
If you'd like to see a full video review on this, then let me know down in the comments. If you have any questions about what I've shown you today, then ask away in the comments, or even better, join our Discord, where we're building a community of people that can help you with anything from streaming to YouTube, or just a place to chill out and have some fun. I'll be using this green screen, green screen, green, green screen, I'll be using this green screen setup over on my Twitch channel, so if you want to see what this looks like in a real streaming situation, head over there. I stream every Monday, Wednesday and Friday, and any days I can fit in between. Link will be in the description below. I really hope you enjoyed this video, guys, and I hope this has actually helped you in one way or the other. If it has, let me know by hitting that thumbs up button, and I'll see you guys in the next one.